other and this my mic is muted but welcome hi welcome to professor lane in the other world future shush <laughs> i'm tysa and i am holding back laughing for <laughs> something that you won't know because tysa's mic was muted <laughs> This is before she started. <laughs> Hi, I'm KV, and you didn't need to know that. You didn't need to know I was here either. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> no, wait, come back. I can't do this. <laughs> we are heading to the restaurant after we had some uh, an interesting talk with a rabbit and a guy named Beacon, who I uh, he he needs he he's gone through a lot. That's all you need to know. <laughs> so has the rabbit. What a quaint little restaurant. It's called the Thames, the Thames Arms. The Thames? The Thames. <sighs> I don't know. It might take, it might, it might take me several videos to get this. The, the Thames? The Thames. The Thames Arms. Well, the Thames Arms appears to be open. What say we step inside and have a look around? What, but hint coins. I want yeah, hint, hint coins. coins. We need hint coins first. Is there one at the lighthouse? Why are there? Why is there a lighthouse next to a lighthouse? There's a lighthouse next to a lighthouse. What? Where? I mean, if we're talking, the guy we just met was saying that he managed the lighthouse. I assumed he was right by the lighthouse he manages. There's um, a lighthouse in the background. Well, no, I think he's on the. <laughs> I think he's on the coast right now. He's not actually at the lighthouse. Like the thing, the building next to him was definitely too small to be a lighthouse. A I think, likely story. Actually, I think the building he's at might be, like, the way to get to the lighthouse. Because as you can see, it's, like, in the middle of, like, in the middle of the river. So, like, the only... Okay. So, I'm thinking that building he was next to actually is directly connected to the lighthouse, I guess? Or he could take a boat, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure there's only one lighthouse. Uh, but I'm what sure... if it was a transformer and it can just come out of the ground? <laughs> <laughs> he said it was mechanical. That's true. Uh. Wait, I still- I missed something, my bad. There was something more. There was a thing in here. Is it a puzzle? Oh, it's a puzzle. I was like, it's a- it's a- it's a hidden puzzle. Look! A hidden puzzle! Puzzle number 145. Congratulations, Luke. Solve the puzzle. Oh, Wait, I mean, okay! <laughs> the four cards below, 0, 1, 2, and 6, can be used to display different times of the day as seen in the example of 2.16. If using a 24-hour clock, how many different actual times can be created by rearranging the four cards? You must use all four cards to display each time. The cards can't be overlapped. Oh, jeez. Uh... So, are they going for traditional time or military time? Because that uh, actually gonna, changes things. I'm leaning on the... Uh, it says they're using a 24-hour clock, so I'm leaning on the military one. Okay. So, like... That means at least 2016 can be used. Uh... Well, the first one is... You, the first thing you suggested, 20, is correct, by the way. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, I didn't count all the times. I just knew that... that. <laughs> My clocks are in military this time, okay? Yeah, I kind of, I kind of want to try and, and get a habit of doing of That's learning really military cool. time, mostly because when you kind of leave out of the country, I think most places use military time. Yeah, I mean, some places have like markers for afternoon and noon, but it's like it's just easier. Yeah, I can I can do military military time up to an extent. Like I can't remember what the heck fifteen o'clock is. <laughs> Or 16 That's, o'clock. Like, 15 is 3 p.m. and 16 is 4 p.m. Yay! I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm just bad at that. Like, I can do, like, up to, like, 13 or 12, and then it's, like, I don't know the rest. And then maybe, like, 20, 20 o'clock into, like, 24 is something I can get up. There's then, no 24. It 20, blasts th it's 23. Three, oh, yeah, and, and then it becomes zero, zero. zero. Yeah, it's yeah. zero. But, yeah, you get the idea. It's, like... The first half and the last half I can remember, but then the stuff in between, it's like, I don't remember which is which. Stick a fork in this puzzle because it's done! Like the fork we got last time? Yeah, I was gonna say. The <laughs> other fork that we got? Okay, more hand coins in here. Uh, this crystal is- the crystal here is top notch. what crystal? The crystal here is top notch. Well, 
down the stairs. Huh? You eat standing up? Uh, Flora, there's she chairs. Asked, there's chairs. Well, she asked where the chairs were. Oh, but the chairs are right there. What? I know. I, that, that too. Like, the stairs are right there. The chairs are right there. Where are the chairs? Uh, but okay. There's no bears. No bears. <laughs> Gentlemen, lady, welcome to the Thames Arm. Good afternoon, sir. We're here in search of an acquaintance who may have come by today. As you can see, business is quite slow. One regular came in earlier, but he left a few minutes ago. I see. This regular didn't happen to come from Chinatown, did he? Uh, forgive me, but it doesn't seem right to give out what kind of information without his consent. Of I, course, I understand your concern. Um, I think he just answered our question, too, so... <laughs> However, this information could be vital in assuring the safety of London. That's quite a claim to make. What about this? If you can help me with a problem I'm having, perhaps I can help you with yours. Number if you look eight. at my outfit and you look at my glasses, you could say that I might be a future Godo. <laughs> his, red, his outfit's too red, though. I'm, I, I would think more of a, a Paul Justice in that case, if it wasn't for I his mean, hair and stuff. He, he went back to his red colors after he got found out that he was actually Diego. That's, a, that's exactly how the trilogy worked. The, the third <laughs> game worked. Okay. You decided to make a special pair of dice that can display each day of the month numerically on your desk. As shown by the 12 at the top of the screen below, each day must use both dice. However, which... However, which... Each day must use both dice, however. Which means single-digit days, like the first and second of the month, will display as 0, 1, and 0, 2, respectively. You thought you had the design figured out, but the layouts below won't display all the dates. Draw a circle around the one number that needs to be changed. Ooh, 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 ooh. I might know this one. Okay. Because we literally actually have blocks like a calendar for this. Oh! <laughs> um, if I'm not mistaken... Uh, let's see. You can do that, you can do that. I know it has to be the nine or the six because you don't need both. Yeah, you don't need nine. Well, you don't need ninety six or sixty nine, I guess. But yeah, well, you don't need both because six can be flipped upside down and become the nine. So you ah. don't need one of them. I just don't know which one. Uh, well, according to the game, it's six. It's it's six on the one, two, three, four? Yes, this one. Okay. So then that one, I guess, would be changed to a, either a zero? I think it would be changed to a zero. Mm-hmm. That's correct. I've got a good feeling right. about this one. Just as I, I did suspect. it. I finally became Leighton and solved <laughs> the puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> We're all slowly turning into Leighton. By that I mean not really, but you know. Okay. Good job. 07 or 08 weren't there. Okay, that's what I was missing. Uh, all right. Well, you still did good. Better than me, because I couldn't quite work out that thing in my head. Yeah. Excellent. Your help is much appreciated. Now that we've solved your problem, can you tell us about the man who was here earlier? A deal's a deal. That customer who came by earlier is what some might call a bit of an odd duck. Every time he comes in, he's wearing something different. Maybe he thinks I won't recognize him. So, he disguises himself. Don Paulo. Yeah, I was like, Don Paulo. <laughs> he tries to, at any rate. He told me that he can't afford to be spied in public. So he always wears different clothes. And this man hails from Chinatown. That's right. He said he comes here to unwind. 
His routine is pretty much the same every time. Usually he walks in wearing that top hat of his, orders a beverage, and finds a seat by the window. Did you just say he wears a top hat? I did. It's a tall number, like the one your friend is wearing. But as you said before, this man has already left for today. That's right. If you were here just a few minutes ago, you would have bumped into him leaving. Do you suppose this means he's gone back to the Towering Pagoda, Professor? I think there's a good possibility. Why don't we go confirm our suspicions? That's a good idea. Let's go! Have a nice day. Did he just chuckle? I think it's yes, like he character did. like chuckled. Yeah. Huh. Okay. So, okay, Mr. Fishy Man. And... I look like Blinken from Robin Hood Men Type. What the heck was? Who is that? It's Why Barton. Are they there? Oh. Hi there, Barton. Fancy seeing you here. Oh, hello, Luke. I've been traveling around on foot and gathering information. But all that walking has made me a mood for the stack. So that's why you were peeking through the restaurant window. Why not just go in? Right? <laughs> yes, I confess that a lovely wobbly jelly has caught my eye. Do a hungry man a favor and keep my little break a secret from the inspector, please. Ah, I see. That's why. Ha! <laughs> I wouldn't dream of reporting you, my good man. But now that you mention it, where is the inspector? He's been conducting a series of exhaustive interviews with everyone he meets in town. Once he finds a useful source, he really knows how to wring out every last detail. I'll bet! Okay, well, we know, don't, we don't know get in trouble. We know the inspector as we saw him last time. Yeah, uh, he's out. He's still in town. Last I checked. But also, Barton, don't get in trouble. Uh, we're going. He just wants a snack. Let him have the snack. A quote unquote snack, which ends up turning into a feast. I'm sure. Oh no! Oh my dear sweet fluke, I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh no! <laughs> what are you doing here? Please excuse Luke here. He's just surprised as all. I just love that. <laughs> no. Yeah. What a pleasant coincidence it is that we happen to walk through here. Coincidence? Oh no no no! This is a sort of fate because you see, Fluke and I are destined for one another. Well, I suppose that's one way of thinking about things. Fate. Destiny? Luke, just what have you been telling this sweet girl? Sweet, okay. Me? Nothing! It's all one big misunderstanding! Belle and I, we aren't, you know, involved like that! Oh, Fluke, when you get all flustered like that, you're so cute! I could just eat you up! I, I'm I not really flustered. hate that phrase. Oh, I could just eat you up? Yeah. Yeah, We're it's cute. just. It's, it's gross. Hush now, my strong, gorgeous man. There'll be time for more flirting later. Help. I came to let you know that I've been seeing strange men running all over town looking for you. They keep going on and on about the boss, blue hats, and other gibberish. That sounds bad. Professor, do you think the family has finally caught on to us? I fear that might be the case. If so, we have limited time. We must gain access to the Towering Pagoda before the family reinforces their guard in the area. Don't be scared, my sweetling! I won't let anyone harm my dreamy hunk of a man! Oh god. Oh my god, there's a kissing town too! Why? <laughs> Run! Look, Belle, thanks for the warning, but you can't stop worrying about me now. I, I, I'm disgusted by Belle, but I actually quite enjoy voicing Belle, because she's just so out there and wild. I don't mind her. She seems like she's a very nice girl, just needs to learn boundaries. Yes, learn boundaries and also the, the word no. And you can and stop... She, she, oh. 
she can also grow up and be a better person, unlike that university student who really has oh, problems. Oh no, yeah, <laughs> yeah. She still has- this, this girl has time. <laughs> yes. And you can stop calling me weird names, alright? Let's go now. Oh, Fluke, I love when you play hard to get. It just makes me swoon. Please. No, we're not saving. Guess what? We're in chapter 9 now. Okay. The Master of the Towing Pagoda. Are we finally going in? Are we, like, actually Mr. finally Top going in? Hat. It's Mr. Top and Hat from Thomas the Tank Engine. Top I knew and it. Hat! Oh, my God. Okay, let's go back into Chinatown. We gotta talk to this guy again. He's got a puzzle for us. Hey there, friends. Did you find the fellow you've been chasing? Unfortunately, no. But I'm confident we'll corner him at the Towering Pagoda this time. Yikes, jumping right into the lion's den, eh? You be careful in Chinatown. On the off chance things get hairy there, you can always come and talk to me. I'll help you out. The way you say that makes me think there's more than an off chance things will get hairy. Not at all, my small friend. But you know what they say. Hope for the best, prepare for not the best. The not best? What do you mean the worst? Don't you mean the worst? There's a whole song about that. Huh? Do I? I I don't know. Say, speaking of preparation, you fellas ever heard this one? <laughs> and then we get slammed a puzzle. A wheat stash? Oh. Slams it. Here's your puzzle. <laughs> To stockpile some wheat in case of a future shortage, you've decided to mill some of your grain into flour and stash it away somewhere safe and dry. You've rustled up three different boxes suitable for storage. Which of these containers will store the most flour? Uh... What do we know about A, B, and C? Uh... I have a feeling it's probably B. Because I'm, I'm going by the, the crease in the lines. It's either A or B. Like, okay. unless, unless, like, unless you can't flip A. You know what I mean? Well, let's see what the answer is. The answer is A. Ah! Okay, so we can flip it. Cool. Here's I was like, answer. is it, is, are we allowed to flip it? Or, because then, yeah, it would be A. Oh, wait, I want to re read this next part. Okay. Wheat! <laughs> Wheat! Oh my if god, you ever that... play Settlers of Catan with me, I only collect one resource, and it's wheat. Wheat! And that's all I care about. Oh my I god. just want to get all the wheat. Okay, I know we were we were planning to play a train game and stuff like that eventually, but eventually, at some point we should also play Rasp, because if you like collecting stuff, that's a game of collecting stuff. <laughs> it's, it's basically, you're collecting stuff and building a raft, making the raft bigger, and it's cool. I really like Ooh. it. You should definitely play that with me at some point, too, after we play I'll, trains. I'll, ha I'll have to... But trains... No, no, we're doing trains first, because I promised we were going to do trains eventually. <laughs> Now that that's out of the way, I suppose you'll be heading to the Towering Pagoda, eh? I mean, that's literally what we said we were gonna do. Right? Watch yourselves out there, you hear? Okay, bye! <laughs> bye, sir! Have a nice day! I do like the music in here, though. Oh, we gotta talk to this, uh, sketchy oh, husband. Oh, no, not this guy again. Yep. Why, hello again, whippersnappers. Did you manage to find the Towering Pagoda's horrible boss? No, we just missed him down by the river. But I've heard he's back at the pagoda now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. all this coming and going sure has been a lot of trouble for you all. It's a good thing you're still young and full of pep. And what about you? Have you resolved your little problem? I don't think he has. I highly doubt it. Yeah. Problem? I don't follow what you mean, friend. Don't play innocent. Luke's talking about your clandestine lunchtime rendezvous with Pepper. What? Oh, no, no, no. My wife's mistaken about all that. Really, it was nothing so scandalous. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. 
Thanks for your concern, but it's all just a big misunderstanding. So don't pay it any mind. Pleased to hear that there's no reason to worry. <laughs> I feel like Layton's just saying that outwardly, but inwardly he's like, doubt. I press X to doubt. Times, <laughs> but I am not going to this time. At least for the sake of continuing on of our adventure. <laughs> Come now, everyone. We mustn't waste any more time getting into the Goda. Okay, Professor. I that's it. Oh, myself before a uh, motor explodes. Mm-hmm. You got some explaining to do. But also, he's, we said not wasting time, but we, that's what exactly what we're doing right now. We're going to What did I just say, Luke? But puzzles! We gotta get all the puzzles! I understand that, but... <sighs> Books are a substance for the soul. Have you discovered the value of the written word, boy? Of course! I love books! I've read the Sherlock Holmes stories at least a dozen times! Have you played the game? Books are tricky things. Some are enlightenment made physical, while others are just so much paper. Only by reading one reading can one sort the worthwhile from the worthless. I never thought about it that way. Yes, within books leap a thousand puzzle. Here's one more. Huh? Surprise! <laughs> what? <laughs> you can over this, Luke. We get puzzles. Also, Luke, have you ever heard of Herlock Sholmes or the famous Dupin the Third stories? Oh, God. Quite interesting. I love how, like, you, that particular leak... You, you laugh, but, like, that literally... Yeah, 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 I know, it's real. I, that's because the, I... the, the Lupin... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know it's real. It's just really funny because of, like, a certain leak that occurred. Everyone thought Herlock Sholmes was, like, a the newest thing. I'm like, no, that's been there before. I don't yeah. like it, but it's been there. It's nothing new. And that's exactly how they went around the whole, like, copyright issue about it. So, yeah. And yeah. Herlock Sholmes is is technically canonical to loop on the third, the anime. The oh, man. That's so good. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. Arrange the five books below into the green bookshelf following these rules. No books can go left of the brown book. Only the blue book can touch the brown book. The yellow book goes uh, to the left of the white book. The blue book must touch the purple book. The white book needs to be sandwiched between the yellow and purple books and not touch any others. An empty space big enough for one book must be left next to the yellow book. Oh my god. Okay, well... Okay, well, we know where the brown that's goes. That's... what we do? It, it, Can I turn the brown this? Brown has to, yeah, brown has to be like one area regardless. No, nothing can go to the left of it. I was gonna pull up the white, the yellow and white one first, just because that one is like already telling me. Come, <sighs> rotate. I can't rotate the thing. Send help. Oh my god, I can't rotate this thing. I cannot solve this puzzle. Tap tap. Tap tap. This this puzzle Good is. Good job. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this. Why are why are they like? Okay, you know what? I I'm going to get to the solution because this is going to take a while if it's going to play like this with me. Okay, well, the solution is very dumb. Okay. Yeah, I figure there might be a book on top at least. Yep. Oh my. See this? Yeah, I definitely do not want to like stay on this too long. Oh, how? Why? Why can't I rotate? Why? Help! Help! Well, the blue book goes on top. I'll tell you that right now. You don't have to rotate it. That's great. There you go. But... Now rotate the other two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. God damn it! I hate. Oh, I, I I curse. I'm sorry. I'm just mad. Why is the turning I... so hard in this? I can't help you. I know. It's 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 I it's I I know I know you can't. But I don't know why Books this is turn. Right now. I don't know why I this is. You. I don't know why this is being such a struggle, though. Oh wait, wait. Okay, I got it. Oh. I don't you know. Found it. And like, I'm hitting the corners because that's how you turn them. But it won't. Oh my god. There we go. Oh, holy crap. Oh wait, this goes. Wait, I have to flip it. Damn it. Why do you have to flip it? Well, that's the. That's what I saw in the uh, conclusion. I know, but. Okay. I'm just gonna flip it just in case you never know, okay? Uh, oh my god, that's... 
It's the corners that make it turn, but because I have a fat stylus, it doesn't register I'm hitting the corner, and that's why I'm struggling. God. God. Hmm. How about this? I knew it! Me and my fat 3DS stylus, yo. Sort these books like this. This is a terrible way to sort stuff. What exactly. if someone wants like, the brown and the purple book? Right? Paper and ink are mere objects. In time, they will rot and vanish. But the ideas and knowledge they contain are eternal. Unless they are trashy novels. Aspire. Okay. I mean, some trashy novels are... Sometimes you just want a trashy novel, okay? <laughs> Aspire to read as many books of real value as possible. What about Sherlock Holmes? Are those books of value? Oh, absolutely. They are the filet mignon of soul sustenance. Hmm. Yay! <laughs> what Luke... about the books I read? Are they okay? Yeah, yeah Luke... they're fine. Luke is so worried, my god. I mean, trashy novels are okay. Matic novels are bad. Yeah. Uh, so... Panda! Yes, Panda. Oh, wait, can I finally get the... Something smells great! I love Chinese food too, I do too, but I'm trying to grab the hint coin that we couldn't have last time. Because someone was in front of it, remember? Panda. Oh wait, am I going to the noodle place? I guess I am. Hello, we're going to the noodle place. And Hello, Bart noodle. Barton. Yay, Bart! Yeah, I but like also, Bart. yeah, but also, wasn't he down at the restaurant? Now he's eating here. What? Hey, Barton. man. He is just very fast because he eats so much. He has a lot of he has a lot of energy, and he burns that metabolism. Okay. He burns them trying to chase after the inspector. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello, Barton. How goes your investigation with the inspector? I was just taking a break to um, uh, reflect upon the case the inspector and I were on the other day. I see. Well, what exactly happened on the case? We had to chase a subject, suspect across the river, but I can't remember how long it took. So instead, instead, Professor Layton, I'd like you to solve the case for me. Do the work for me. <laughs> Four police officers are attempting to chase a criminal across the river. How many police officers does it take to catch a criminal? However, their boat can hold only two people at a time. The first trip across takes one minute, but since the rower gets tired, the second crossing takes two minutes if the same person rows. The third takes three and so on, getting slower and slower each time the same person rows. In minutes, what's the shortest amount of time it will take the four police officers to get across the river? Uh, I'm assuming uh, if it's two people going across, uh, one person rows and that person is going to get off. So that way the other person can row back and they just kind of go back and forth, basically. So like, the every time they get a new person or one person, uh, every time they get a new person, that new person rows and then also leaves or something like that. I'm not doubting that, but we're forgetting some of the obvious answers like... What? That's pretty short. Jump it. <laughs> if only, if only we could answer that. But yeah, it is a pretty short one. Or did you swim across? Yeah. Uh, in Inspector, I think it'd be easy if you look in the background. We could easily just run around and catch him. It seems like he'd get quite lost in the city. There's so many houses and everything. Anyways, I don't to... really care to figure out the answer. Okay. The answer is six. <laughs> yep. Yep, that's a six. Let's I've go with that. Feeling about this one. Well, that's settled. Yay. Um, Barton, if you were there during the investigation, how would come you can't remember how much time it took? <laughs> well, um, uh, 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 Barton's hungry. See, I passed out. I Barton... passed out. Barton was just hungry, okay? Ah, yes, that's right. So thanks for helping me remember. Now I can finally get back to... snacking. Yes, snacking. Hey, a new route. Let's go. Yay! Okay, 
the car's already facing in the right direction. Oh, we're picking up cupcakes! Yum! I like this. Okay. Not for us, they're for Barton. Oh, share! <laughs> Barton, just share them! There's so many cupcakes, my god. There's seven cupcakes, so we have Layton, Luke, Flora, Brock, other Luke, Barton. So that's six. So we have one for each, and otherwise Barton can have the last one, so we can have two. Wait, or, we're not giving one to Chelmy? <laughs> or, I was gonna say, or if Chelmy shows up and wants a cupcake. Aww. <laughs> if he shows up and wants a cupcake, that, that that's that's the key here. He needs to actually want a cupcake. I mean, it's a free cupcake, Chelmy. Take one, gosh. Yum. Aw, oh, I want a cupcake, though. I haven't had a cupcake in a while. Because I'm watching my diet, I guess. Uh, I just want sweet things. <laughs> I have ice cream. That's probably the closest thing to a sweet thing I can eat right now. I want noodles. Oh my... Noodles! I Welcome to Pepper's Noodles Palace! Hello there, Pepper! Hello there, yourself! Thanks for stopping by again! Hungry again already? Actually, I'm still quite full, but I'm I don't not. know- <laughs> Feed us, Pepper! <laughs> <laughs> but I do know one hungry police officer who would never turn down a bowl of noodles! A hungry customer is my favorite kind of customer! I think I'll treat him to a bowl on the house! Well, dang, that's He's nice! He's already eating here! Right? You know, I'll make not- I make not only great soup, but- Great soup puzzles, too. Here, have a sip. Uh, I can't sip a soup puzzle, but okay. More noodling Not around. You don't try hard enough, Luke. You have to think outside the <laughs> box. Oh, it's this box. thing again. Okay, bowls of plain noodles and pork noodles are lined up in a row on the counter. Switch the food around so that bowls of plain noodles and pork noodles alternate, but make sure they all remain evenly spaced on the counter. What is the fewest numbers of moves that will will take to accomplish this task? Also in this puzzle, simply switching the places of two bowls counts as two moves. Okay. Uh. Shoot. Uh. Well, I know wait. the answer. I don't agree with it. One. I, I, two. But doesn't that count as two? Yeah, two. Oh wait, so it counts as one it's... apparently. That okay, counts as only yeah. one. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I know, right? I thought it'd be two. Okay. Well, uh. Switching... Switching the place of two bowls counts as two moves. Yeah, but that wasn't two moves. That was that wasn't what whatever. Well, I figured it out. Ans yes, answer answer solved. <laughs> no puzzle can stop Layton's apprentice. Ah, uh, I want noodles. Oh. What? That was dumb. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, it, just move the pork from one bowl. It wasn't actually oh. moving the bowls themselves, it was moving the pork off of one and putting it on the other bowl. Oh, I moved the bowls! That's why I was like, There's wait. There's still gonna be residue of pork on the one you just took the pork off. That's not how it works, game! Oh, yeah. uh, nice work there! Okay, we gotta watch. Alright, let's leave before this place makes me hungrier. <laughs> Going to the toy shop. Panda. It's Dylan. Is this a dude or a girl? Oh. It's, it's, it's a kid. It's a kid. <laughs> right. Here pff, here to check out all those neat toy cars. Toy cars? Please. Those are for babies. That's strange. I could have sworn you. I saw you just playing with one of those a few seconds ago. Minutes ago, even. I believe your exact words were... <clears throat> Vroom, vroom, wee! <laughs> Darn it, Checker! Can't you see I'm trying to look cool here? <laughs> Sorry, Dylan, you're one of my best customers, so I will grow out of toy cars. Well, they are really fun. Agree. I just wish Checker wouldn't go around letting everyone know I like them. But there's no harm in liking toy cars. It's really hard to look cool when he does that. But speaking of cars, have I got a puzzle for you? There's Dylan, nothing wrong with liking I toy tell cars. You, I have I have a bed full of Kirby plushies. Yeah. 
I am over 30 years old. I, have... I don't care. They're mine, and I love them. There's a shelf in my closet that's just full of plushies, so... <laughs> Three boys are admiring a toy car on sale for 12 pounds. Jeff, if Pete and I pulled our allowances, we could buy this car together in two weeks. Sam, well, Pete and I could buy it in three weeks. And then Pete says, it would take you guys six weeks to save up enough. All allowances are received weekly. How many pounds is Sam's weekly al allowance? Oh, God. I don't like these. I don't like this puzzle. There's actually math involved. Yeah, so my main question is, is that the symbol for pounds? I thought that was a symbol for euros. I also thought it was the symbol for euros, but okay. Sure, it's the symbol for okay. pounds, but you know, it's not like I look at a freaking British bill or anything any time, like, all day long. Uh, but the answer is, which is kind of funny, zero. <laughs> um, I like to see how this came this out to that. Uh, no, the euro is slightly different. No puzzle can stop pounds do in fact have that E looking ah, character. Okay. The euro is like a C with two lines dashed through it. Oh, okay, gotcha. Sam so, doesn't get an allowance, okay. Wow, poor Sam. It's just, I, I, on one hand, poor Sam, but also he's like mooching off of his friends. He has nice friends. <laughs> Way to go there. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some stuff I need to take care of. Cool stuff. Yeah, sure. It won't be as cool as my bed of Kirby plushies. Yeah. <laughs> He's actually just going to off to polish his cars. There's this guy back here. Oh, it's a girl. I can't. Oh my god, from a distance, I thought it was just a guy like oh, yeah, no, admiring I, I thing. So hey there. Oh, hello, gentlemen. Are you looking for a new toy? Not really. See, other than those cool toy cars, this place doesn't have anything all that amazing. They should really add some new inventory. You sure are picky about your toy stores. Well, my mom has a certain philosophy about shopping. Only shabby shoppers shop at shabby shops. Oh my god, that sounds like a freaking tongue twister. Seashells, seashells <laughs> by the seashore. <gasps> that's... okay, that's what she always says. This place is still trying their hardest, but they still haven't gotten their act together. I sure hope poor Checker didn't hear that. Shopping is serious business. You need to have smarts. Here, let me give you an example. Oh, is this about haggling or something? The discount. Yes. Ugh. <laughs> this shop only sells three different types of items for four, for one, two, or three pounds. If you buy two of the same item, you can buy a third of that item at half the price. You bought six items and paid 9.5 pounds. How many of each one, two, or three pound item did you buy? You bought at least one of each and there's no tax. Oh, cool. I don't have to worry about tax. That's cool. Uh, I also don't really feel like thinking about this too hard right now. Well, let me, let me give it an honest 30 seconds. If uh, less than that even. If you buy two Which... of the same items, you can buy a third of it. Uh, well, one of them is probably going to be... Somebody, uh, one of these is going to be a buy two, get one. Half price at this point, so... Oh, okay, never so mind. There's one... I don't care enough. <laughs> yeah, okay, so this is going to be the answer, I believe. Can I just put that? Yes. Okay. It's a, it's a hmm. ups, inverted pyramid. Inverted half pyramid. Inverted, inverted stairs. Inverted staircase. Yes, there we go. This is the word I was looking for. Yeah, if we had if I had more time I would be able to calculate it, but I'm just like, nah, I'm good. You know, I think I'm done with those toy cars. They're for little kids. Tell that to Kiryu Kazuma, okay? <laughs> he plays with cars still. <laughs> A young gentleman like yourself wouldn't have any interest in a kid's toy like that, right? Oh, those silly things? Of course not! I'd never even touch one! Luke, Luke is ungentlemanly to lie. <laughs> wow, can't yep, believe I called it. Yep, he called it. Now, Luke, fibbing isn't becoming for a gentleman. Yeah, seriously, Luke, what, what do you think we've been doing opening your briefcase and playing with the toy car that we have in there? God! 
I've been having fun for one. Okay, this might be the last puzzle for the night, so... Back again, I see. We heard that Mr. Layton had returned. That's true. That being the case, I assume you let us through this gate? Fine, I have no objections. Well, that's not entirely true. There is one minor issue left. When the boss got back, he told me not to let anyone through the gate without solving this puzzle first. Of course. Okay, the impassable gate. Well, it's passable now. Uh, eventually. No one has ever solved the impassable gate. Give it a try, if you dare. If you make it to the top, I'll let you pass. Fly Professor Layton and Luke into the top square to solve this puzzle. It's one of those sliding ones. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'm yeah. I'm wondering. Yeah, okay. I'm wondering. Uh, that's a problem. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. No, I see, I see. Okay, yeah, I yeah. Think... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, fa I'm figuring this one out better than the other one we had. Okay. Except now I'm stuck. But now, problem, yeah. Unless. So. Nope, I'm stuck there. Hmm. Yeah, bring back the yellow piece. Bring the yellow piece back up. Yeah, because you want to get that orange piece down. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. I'm going to restart this. There we go. We had something going there. Uh, so I hmm. think instead, try sliding to the right first and get the red piece up. Wait. That way you can slide down. Oh. Wait. Okay, no, you do, you do uh -huh. your thing. Oh, uh -huh. oh, oh, okay, uh -huh. oh, okay, uh -huh. okay. Uh-huh. So I well I I got that but now I'm like wait now what? Mm. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Naha. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> Me. He who. Ha ha. I hate. I like. I would. Lo I love these puzzles. But oh wait 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 wait. No wait wait wait. wait hold on. Oh, we we, oh, 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 we, we okay. can't we can't we okay, can't okay. we can't give up yet. Okay. Although now I'm not sure where to go for this. Huh. Nope, we're stuck here now. Okay, I'm gonna restart that. We're okay. 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 If only because I don't have a lot of time. We're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do this like. I'm gonna go do this according to the, the thing. The guide actually, thankfully, goes into this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work on it now. Okay, we yeah. had we were we had the right idea, but then I got stuck. Mm-hmm. That's gonna get you stuck again. You can't move that green piece. Oh, oh, oh! Guess not. All right, move the red piece. I think it's moving the blue piece down, and then blue, yes, yellow, and then. Yep. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm I'm not moving that yet. I want to see what we're doing here. Okay. I move I the see. green piece. Move the green piece down. So move this. Aha! Yep. That should do the trick. I took an extra turn by accident, but that was because I kind of like wiggled the thing. But it's actually well, it's not counting. It's not counting how many turns you take, so that doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. But the least amount is sixteen, so mm. we did it. Yeah. I just wanted to speed through that just because we're a little short on time. So fair enough. Hmm. You see, the boss is right on the money. You must be one of the guests he's been waiting on. Wonderful. Where can we find you? <laughs> Lane's just like, okay, cool. Neat! <laughs> Head down the street to the pagoda. I wouldn't keep him waiting if I were you. Very well, my good gentleman. Alright. So the next time we complain this again... Oh, I don't have to do anything? There's no scene? Cool. We have solved exactly a hundred puzzles now, by the way. It's quote unquote solved. We probably only solved like maybe thirty of them actually. Yeah. But you know what? We solved a hundred puzzles well, now. I, I, I'd, I'd say forty. We solved forty. 40 of them okay. At least. All right. That's that's super generous. <laughs> I'm just bad at remembering if we. I don't know. I feel like we did solve quite a bit, but also like there have been there have been times where we're just like, ugh. I think <laughs> this episode there's been a lot of puzzles that are just way too many word play up uh, puzzles that are just too like. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, yeah there were, well, there's also a couple that were math ones, and I'm just like, I yep. can't do math right now. I, no thanks. But anyway, we are, we have opened the gates. We can now start heading our way to the pagoda, and that'll be in the next video. Thank you all Luke, for stopping it in. it looks like we've opened the gates to hell. Oh, no! It should be quite the puzzle, my boy. <laughs> oh, puzzles from hell? No, I've heard, I don't... I've heard of this bloke called Zagreus, who's been trying to escape the quite the puzzling situation. No! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, sorry, I'm just tired. I'm just like, <laughs> uh, I want to react, but also I'm tired. <laughs> That's funny. We will enter the gates of hell then, in that case, in the next video. See you guys then. Ciao. Bye. The gates of hell. <laughs>